Hey guys, so it is already the end of March, beginning of April. I don't know when this video will go up, but um, can we, wait, can we just stop for a minute and say it's already April? What? So it's going to be summer in no, actually here where I live, it feels like summer because the last like three weeks have been like in the 80s. Amazing. And may I also just say April is the best best month of the year. Um, so today I have my in March favorites. Wow. I actually don't have a lot, so let's just get started. Hopefully this will be kind of a short video. So let's go. Let's start off with makeup. So I can't remember if I talked about this product before or not, but this is the Clinique Even Better Foundation. And, you know, I mean, you've probably seen the commercials where it's like, yeah, fade your scars, which I actually don't think it does that. So if you're looking to buy this for that, I don't think it does that because that's why I bought it and it doesn't work. Or I don't think it's been working because my scars are still here. Anyway, um, but I do like the foundation in general. Um, I think it's a good foundation. And I pretty much wore it every day in March, so I like that. My favorite blush of the month would have to be MAC Well Dressed. And this is kind of me getting into the more, like, springy blushes. I, t like, got rid of all my dark, like, autumn blushes and took out my spring blushes. Getting excited for spring! Um, but yeah, I really love this blush because it's just really pretty. You can't even see it. Never mind. But yeah, I like that. The next product is a highlight, and I've been obsessed with highlighting lately. So my two favorite highlighters are Max Soft and Gentle, which everybody knows about. I just bought it this month, I think, so I'm kind of late. And Max um, Luna. And I love putting my highlight right here on, like, the apples of my cheeks, or I don't even know what this is called. Temples, whatever. Um, and it just, like, it looks so good like I'm just gonna put it on so you guys can see see how it just like highlights me and I'm just highlighted now okay the next one is a lip product and this is the lush um, lip scrub in bubblegum I wanted the mint julep one but they were all out when I got it so I just got the bubblegum but I really like it it smells it smells so good and it tastes good let's put some on So I like using this in the morning when I'm doing my makeup and um, I do this and then my EOS lip balm and then my lipstick. Oops! And um, it just really like softens my lips and stuff, you guys know. Two nail polishes. Which one should I say first? This one. Okay. This one I'm like obsessed with. This is Cotton Candy by Orly insert picture here um so this polish is really pretty as you can see by the picture although it might look kind of orange some of my like pinkish coralish nail polishes turn out orange on camera I don't know why but I'm obsessed with this I pretty much wore it like the whole time in March so yeah and I'll probably wear it all of spring because it's a really springy color my next favorite spring color is Navigate Her by Essie. Insert picture here. And Essie, like, this is from the new collection, and I didn't like a lot of them, and I was kind of iffy because green nail polishes I'm kind of iffy on sometimes because they can look kind of weird on me. But I really like this one. Um, it's really pretty and really springy. Like, I want this shade of color for every color because it's so, it's the perfect spring color. It's perfect. Then I have one hair product, and this is by Tresemme, and it is the Split Remedy. And it looks like this, and basically it's a leave-in split end conditioning treatment, and I've been using it for a little while, and I actually do think, it actually says, let's see, reduces up to 80% of split ends after three uses. Now, I've used it a little more than three, and I actually think I've seen a difference. Like, call me crazy. And call me maybe. Just kidding, I hate that song. I actually think I see a difference. So I would kind of recommend this to someone who wants to maybe. Because I, I will not cut my hair. I have haircut phobia. So my split ends and like 
my ends are really dead and split and all that. So I just tried to eat this to try to fix them a little and I think it's working. This is just kind of something I random but I forgot but it's my makeup wipes. This, these are the Pond's Wet Cleansing Towelettes and I got the Ease, Evening Soothe with chamomile and white tea. Just looks like that. And I really like these because um, it's really soothing on my face at night. Because it's evening, evening soothe, duh. And um, it smells really good. I like the smell. It removes my mascara and my eye makeup really well. Like better than my eye makeup remover. I'm getting a new eye makeup remover soon. I guess we're on to random favorites. I think I've talked about this before, but it's the Sean White. Yeah, I have talked about this, so I'm just going to mention it really quick. I'm still obsessed with this. It's my favorite gum in the whole wide world. I keep buying three packs, and it's kind of making me go broke because it's, like, the most expensive gum there. But I'm obsessed with it. And then, this is kind of weird because I've never had these in my videos before, but I have two, well, technically three books. Um, but I don't have the third one. So I read the series. It's the Rain Tour series, and it... Like it's like this. The first one is called Always Watching and I don't have that one. I rented it from the library and read it and fell in love with it so I had to read the second one. So my friend got it for me for Christmas one year I think and this one's called Last Breath and I just finished reading this one. I finished reading it in like a day. No joke. Like I just got so into it. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's the best book ever. And then, this one I just ordered off Target.com and it just came today. This is the last book in the series. And actually I had to research this because I didn't know there was a third one. I was really sad because I thought there wasn't. But there is. And so I was really excited and I'm so happy I just got this. Except I'm trying to save it because I'm on spring break this week. And so I'm trying to save it to read it to read it somewhere like, I don't know, just over spring break. So I'm trying not to read it today but it's driving me insane because I love it so much. Then, this probably isn't a surprise to anyone because probably the whole world has this but it is the One Direction CD obsessed obsessed just obsessed can we just obsessed I'm obsessed I'm obsessed okay let me tell my favorite songs well obviously I don't even need to say what makes you beautiful because that's just a classic stole your heart stole my heart that's my favorite I think up all night tell me a lie more than this one. I just love them all. There's not one song I do not like on the CD. Not one song. Like, you know when you get a CD and there's like, you like all of them except for maybe like one or two? This one? I don't have that. I love every single one. Every single one. I it just, I don't even know what to say. I do not know what to say about this. I just love it so much. And I got the yearbook version because, you know. And then just some random favorite songs. Um, I've really been liking the After Party, like Secret Lover and Time Bomb. You guys probably never ever heard of these people. They're kind of random, but I went to a concert and I saw them in concert, so I don't know. Part of Me, Katy Perry. Oh, wait, back to the One Direction CD. I have exclusive songs. Well, I mean, they're not secret songs. They're on YouTube, but, like, I have them. And so I'm obsessed with those two. So I have the songs on, on the CD plus four extra ones. OMG. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to leave a cam up a... What? Don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe up top, and I will see you guys later. Bye!